Hello time. On the forefront of this week, I was digging through the archives of my soul when I discovered something quite peculiar. A beep ton of unfinished novels. So I set out on a journey to understand why so many novels go unfinished. On my quest, I called back to an earlier memory of some unpronounceable bus that's probably German or Russian or whatever country all of the philosophers talk in. What language is that? The Helsinki bus station theory essentially says that the longer you stay on a path, the more likely you are to achieve it and achieve success in it. So for instance, all of these stations are all in the same city. They're all in downtown Chicago. And if you hop on this first bus, this is your first novel, um, you'll be going from here to here and and this may take you a couple of years and everyone's gonna say like yeah i mean you pretty much look like everyone else everything's doing the same thing and uh you stay on the path for a couple of more years but no i mean you're still pretty much in line with everyone else and it's a mark of your persistence and consistency to stay on this bus to get further and further away from everyone else so that yours stands uniquely separate and uniquely different as the bus heads further and further outside of the city. So for instance, this is one novel. This is the completion of someone who has published their novel. But for you, you might start writing your novel and then be like, this is the same as everyone else's. And then you give up on it. Um, and But you still want to be a writer, so then you're like, oh, I'm going to write this novel. And then you write a little bit more, because even though it's the same, like this has some potential, and it's still pretty similar to everyone else's. And you write a little bit more, and no, it's still... There's already more stuff in that niche, and you never quite feel like you can get away from this judgment and so you stop before you reach the final bus station but little did you know if you had continued to stick with that first project then you'd be able to make it and your second one yeah maybe it'd still be similar maybe your next couple steps maybe they aren't all that different but where you end up can end up being really really far away from anything anyone's ever done before and can be really unique and special in its own regard. And I thought to myself, yes, this is it. This is what I have been searching for. It is the reason why so many novels have gone unfinished. Thinking that they are total garbage, the author has simply moved on to attempt another project, only to repeat the cycle, moving from bus stop to bus stop in an infinite cycle of never finishing a novel. And so, with refueled commitment, I sat down at my computer to write. It was only then that I realized what my projects really were. They were really, really bad. Like, really bad. Like, no saving that puppy right there. I was thrown into a state of dismay. Was the principle not sound? Had my entire journey been for naught? No. No, I had simply grown from writing this. I had moved on to the next bus stop. So with all of this newfound knowledge, what is it that I am going to be pursuing? It is very treacherous to go down this path. I, I fear very few authors have come back from it alive, but it is the act of commitment. I am committing to burying my old projects and reviving the ones that I am proud of. In this coming week, I will be completing the fifth draft of In the Hush, a project that I have been working on for not a very long time, but that I am very fond of. And with its completion, I will be giving myself permission to move forward onto the next bus stop. <laughs>